Okay, so this video is just going to be a, a rundown of uh, the determination of the maximum possible profit using an individual firm's um, cost curves. Okay, so I'm just going to run through the uh, steps. If you see over here, um, let's go back up there. If you see over here, you can see the basic steps, and I'll just read through them first. The firm, here's the market price. It draw you, then you draw the marginal revenue line. After that, having written that, drawn that line, um, you want to determine the profit maximizing level of output, the profit maximizing level of quantity. That's determined where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, and you'll be drawing a line from that. With that line, with that price, you can determine the total revenue, and that's showing in the box. And if you have numbers, you can estimate numbers from the graph. You can also calculate the total revenue. Similarly, for the uh, total cost, using the quantity you've determined, um, you can calculate the total cost, with, uh, and you'll be using the average total cost curve for that. And then lastly, having uh, generated the total revenue, the total cost, you can generate the total profit. So those are the five basic steps. And we're just going to go through an example, okay? So let's just say that uh, our price is going to be, our, with our example, our price is going to be uh, 30, so 30 cents. So following our rule, we're going to say, um, we're going to draw that line. So that's the marginal revenue, which equals the price, which equals 30 in this point. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, having um, drawn that line, we want to determine the profit maximizing level of output, the profit maximizing quantity at the point where marginal revenue, so marginal revenue line intersects the marginal cost, so that intersection is right there, and what you're going to do is you're just going to drop a line straight down to the um, quantity axis, okay? So it's really important that once you've determined this profit maximizing level of output line, everything is based off that quantity, okay? So uh, we've determined the profit maximizing level of output, and I just like to say a Q star. Uh, you can estimate it. It's about, let's say the Q star is about... 5,800, okay, um, 5,800 pounds of radishes. Okay, next, the, uh, the recipe says determine the total revenue. So remember, total revenue is price times quantity. So we already have the price. We have the quantity. So here's our price right there. There's our quantity. And I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll just keep it blue. So... Price times quantity, that is also, if you consider this box, price times quantity, height times width, is actually the area of this box, okay? So you can either calculate the value, 30 cents times 5,800, or show the total revenue box based on the height times the width idea using price and quantity. Okay, the next idea is total cost. So this is the this is the key idea here. Um, the problem is we don't have a total cost curve here, right? Um, but we do have an average total cost. So if we say average total cost equals total cost divided by the quantity, if we do our cross multiplication, we can say total cost equals average total cost times quantity. So again, if we think in terms of the area of a box, well, first of all, let's determine, you know, the key thing is at our quantity, we want to determine what is the average total cost. So from that quantity, we're going to go up to that average total cost curve. So the average total cost curve is basically telling you, give me the level of output that you want to produce, and I can tell you what the average total cost of producing that much output is. So again, we're always evaluating the uh, average total cost, average variable cost, marginal cost, whatever, 
at a particular level of output. So then I'll draw the line straight across, okay? So according to this one, we're producing about um, 5,800 uh, pounds of radishes. We'll say we're about 24 cents is the average total cost. Now, of course, what we want to do is determine the total cost. So we use our, D, uh, our idea of average total cost times quantity equals total cost. So we have our average total cost, kind of a new height. We have our quantity, same quantity as before. We can't emphasize enough the idea that you need to always maintain that same level of quantity. Okay, so average total cost times quantity, again, you can calculate the value, but the area of the box, based on the average total cost and the quantity, represents the total cost. So we'll just show the total cost. Okay, so it's that smaller box. Last thing we have to do is determine the total profit. And again, profit is simply total revenue minus total cost. So we've got the total revenue, uh, the blue box, right? Subtracting out the total cost, the red box, and all that's left is this sliver right here, and that represents the total profit. Okay, so because, uh, you know, so this recipe I've given you is just the process for determining the um, maximum total profit uh, for this situation. I'm not explaining why, so this is just the mechanics, but just keep in mind, by definition, if we've determined that the, the profit maximizing level of output is determined by marginal revenue equals marginal cost, that's telling us that what, given this profit that's generated as a result of our recipe, Given these cost curves, and given the market price, this is the best the firm can do. If the firm produces a little bit more, by definition, its profit needs to be coming down. If it produces a little bit less, again, by definition, the profit must be coming down. Okay? So really, the best thing you can do is, in this case, that Q star of 5,800 pounds of radishes. Um, if you change the price you generate a new maximum possible profit. If you change any of uh, some of the underlying ideas of the cost curves, like technology, prices and factors of production, things such as, such as that, um, you generate new cost curves, and you'd have to repeat the process again. Okay? So again, this is just a quick rundown, and hopefully it's a benefit to uh, studying and getting good at determining profit, total revenue, total cost from the, box, from the uh, graph.